It's been so cool, you know, it's been like the first time in my life, I've been in the industry for a really long time, that I've been able to consistently play a character and feel like I, when I go to work, I'm like living as Santana. Um, and that's a really cool feeling for any actor, you know, which I think is one of the reasons why I love television so much. Um, but it's been great, you know, she started off as just being super rude to everybody and that was like one type of thing and now, and then she came out and then she was super sad and now she's like liberated again and has moved to New York and, you know, I think that in season five we'll get to see more of her growing up and exploring different things, so it's awesome. I felt like in the later half of last season she got really funny again, like with the New York loft dynamic. Um, so I had always said that I thought it would be hysterical if she like tried her hand at acting but only book telenovelas and like didn't speak Spanish very well or something like I just want her to be very comedic and funny and I obviously also want her to um, you know explore other love interests and options about getting a girlfriend and I think there's comedy there too oh my gosh a celebrity to play Santana's girlfriend um, that's such a hard question. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know Santana's type, except for like, because she's only had like one girlfriend. Last season was a tough season for them. I don't know if I have any favorite moments. Um, they were always so sad. But I really liked the, the moment in the last episode, actually, when, you know, we knew that Brittany was going away and it was sort of like a really sad vibe and Santana showed up and just like took her hand and walked her off. I thought that was sweet. You know, I don't think it's going to be that big of a change because our storylines were so spread out last season that, you know, it was really third season when we knew that we weren't all going to be together anymore. And so we sort of mourned that then. Um, like last season, I didn't have any scenes with um, Puck or very few with Mercedes. So, um, yeah, I think, I think it's bittersweet still. But it's good, you know, I, I was saying earlier, like Harry shot three movies this summer and, and Heather's having a baby and, you know, we all like are adults, so it's really nice to see everyone branch out. I would like to sing maybe Adele's Make You Feel My Love is really a good song. But, but that's sad again, so I gotta steer clear of that. So let's just do something, let's just do Ariana Grande's The Way. <laughs> it was so fun, it was awesome, and she's so cute, she just like, looks adorable, she just looks the same, except someone like stuck a huge belly on her. But like everywhere else you're like, you're not pregnant. <laughs> uh, but it was a blast and her family was there and everyone's just really excited. I can't wait to meet her baby. I finished an independent film, um, I would say like seven months, eight months ago. While I was filming Glee, I took like two episodes off, I think, to go and do that indie film and it was like a horror thriller. It was, it was a good experience. Like, there was like, prosthetics and like craziness going on and I'd never like really done a movie before so it was definitely new for me. I know that they're like still editing it. I saw a rough cut and uh, I know that they're working on like special effects and stuff so we'll see.